This video is going to be a combination grocery haul and weigh-in because I don't have much of either to tell you about. So, I went to the grocery store today and I'm so pleased that you guys like my grocery hauls. I have got uh, a lot of messages, a lot, like more than expected in the last couple of weeks from people saying, do you have a grocery haul coming up soon? Don't you need to buy groceries? When is the next grocery haul video? Yeah, thanks for reminding me that I've been so freaking busy and completely lazy that I have not bought groceries in like three weeks. <laughs> That's the only reason I just have not had time, nor really the reason to buy groceries. So I'll explain that really quickly. I've been doing a lot of Christmas stuff. Company parties, friends parties, going out for the weekend, family dinners, get-togethers, friends coming back for the holidays. I feel like I'm going to a dinner or a party like every other day. That's not actually true, but that's what it feels like. It's like two days will pass and suddenly it's a party and it's like, I feel like every day I wake up and I'm like, oh crap, I have to worry about my eating again today. So, like I said before, um, I think it's showing incredible restraint on my part to be able to even maintain because there's just so much going on. Anyway, so needless to say, I've been eating out like every dinner, so I haven't had to buy that much stuff. Um, on top of which, like over the Thanksgiving weekend, which was three weeks ago, two and a half weeks ago, I spent like six days at Sean's and then last weekend I spent three days at Adam's and then I'm going to Sean's for three days this weekend and then I'm only home for three and a half days before I fly to California. So I don't need that many things. So it's kind of like, I just haven't had to buy a lot of groceries. The only downside of all that is that I haven't been eating a lot of fresh stuff. That's the only problem is that I haven't been eating lots of fresh fruit and vegetables like I normally do. I've been eating more like beans and rice from the pantry and oatmeal and granola and nuts which is all good, but you need the fresh stuff. It's really important, so I've sort of been feeling a little blah lately. So this grocery haul should get me through to like Monday of next week, and then I'll just go to the corner store and buy a couple things to last me through the middle of next week because I'm just not here. And I've got like two Christmas parties this weekend. <sighs> I've got mushrooms, just three. I'm gonna make some rice pilaf, and I wanna put in mushrooms and zucchini. I will fry up the zucchini a little bit in a frying pan and then throw it into the rice pilaf, which you've seen me buy in other grocery hauls. Um, and then about five minutes before the pilaf is done, I'll throw in the mushrooms and then they'll just cook a little bit in that hot water with the rice. Um, they don't need to cook a lot and that way the flavor stays. The longer you cook mushrooms, the less flavor they have. Bananas. Kale apples. Love them. Eat them with yogurt. Eat them plain. Eat them with... Um, peanut butter, so good for you, high fiber, nom nom. I just, I, lo I just love apples. See, baby grocery haul, that's my only fruit, apples and bananas. Then, Jason, you will be sad to see that I can just get these at any old store. Wallaby, yogurts. Adam totally got me hooked on these. It's Wallaby Organic. There are more calories in the plain yogurt I normally get, which is like 40 calories, because it has cane sugar in them, but it's naturally sweetened. It's 140 calories for one container. And I love them. I really, really love them. I have no desire whatsoever for like Dannon or Yoplait. I think the flavors and the sweetness is just out of control and I don't even, I don't even enjoy them. But these ones, the flavors are really moderate and really delicious. So I got low fat strawberry um, and low fat lemon and then non fat mango lime. This is what we had over the weekend if you watched Adam's holiday video. That was what, that's what I had with granola and blueberries and banana. But anyway, they're just absolutely delicious. It's like 140 calories for a little awesome flavor, totally organic, sweetened with cane sugar, yogurt, and then you can toss in a little bit of granola or something if you want more calories. I'm so excited. <laughs> but apparently this is hard to get in L.A. and or in wherever Jason is around L.A. And I just got these at the store. I don't know. I'm so excited. So yay, Adam, for showing me new things that are delish and that I will totally eat. I also bought this Boathouse Farms Perfectly Protein Vanilla Chai Tea. It's a protein shake, um, all natural, no preservatives, blah, blah, blah. But um, it's got 10 grams of protein in half of this. Holy crap, that's a lot of protein. It's also got... Um, only 160 calories for half, and normally I would drink like half and then just put the rest in the fridge for later. Sorry, Jason. I got more peanut butter. Love peanut butter. I can handle it. 
Can you handle peanut butter? I can handle it. And last but not least, one of the most delicious things I bought on a whim in one of my other grocery hauls that you saw and that I absolutely love is this. Zatharin's New Orleans beans and rice. These are black beans and or red beans and rice and black beans and rice. They're uh, freaking delicious. They take about 25 to 30 minutes to make. Makes about three to four servings. So if I make this on like a Monday, I have dinner for a week, almost a week. Just put it in a pot in the fridge and just have some in the microwave. It's so good and it's so high in fiber. Holy crap, one serving is six grams of fiber. Just like 200 calories per serving. Love them. Try them. Sorry, I had to do the math. Woo! Because um, I bought more than just groceries. I bought like Kleenex and shampoo and stuff. Um, speaking of which, I haven't bought shampoo in almost a year. No, yes, I washed my hair. When I went on my super debt free craziness for like two years, part of being frugal was not buying things that I don't need to buy. And if I was entirely truthful with myself, I didn't need to buy shampoo because I have hundreds of these little tiny hotel shampoo bottles. So I have been working my way through all of my little shampoo bottles for like the last year. My hair is suffering as a result. It's just way frizzier than it normally is. And I know I whine about that and everybody always goes, your hair is amazing. But the truth is, it's not how it normally is. It's suffering because of all this shitty hotel shampoo. So I have finally bought myself a bottle of shampoo. Woohoo! It was like $5. And so, $5 on shampoo in a year. It's pretty freaking awesome. Anyway, so I bought, grand total, it was $40 if you subtract all the random toilet things I bought. $40 for a week of food for me. Perfect. So, my weigh-in today was the same. Same as last week. Maintain. I am incredibly proud of that. I am freaking excited that I'm not gaining weight during this period of time because normally I would be stuffing my face at all the parties, I would have a hundred cookies, and although I did have a lot of cookies at Adams this weekend, Anthony, it's all your fucking fault. I can't be around cookies. I just can't be around cookies. Other things I can usually control myself around, but cookies, I just have to continue to eat them. But anyway, normally at these Christmas parties, I would try every single kind of cake and every single kind of pie and have a bunch of all the food and a ton of alcohol and a ton of cookies and candies and there's just so much sweet stuff everywhere. So, the fact that I have maintained, to me, feels like I'm showing an incredible amount of restraint. So I'm going to be happy with that and I think as it's only going to get crazier and crazier and crazier until the end of the year with parties, I have, it takes two hands to count the amount of parties I have between now and New Year's. So I'm just going to hope to maintain and then come January of course everything will settle my social calendar will be empty and um, I will start losing and focusing on you know writing down my food every single thing I eat every single day and um, exercising regularly I have been exercising regularly and I have been tracking my calories but um, not as obsessively as I should be to lose these last 15 20 pounds so um, couple of things before I leave y'all because heaven knows I always have way too much to say and I've been putting out an enormous amount of videos lately. Um, number one, Jason did a compilation video of I can, I will, I won't, I want. It's a whole bunch of people in the weight loss community pledging to lose the weight. It's incredibly inspirational. It is on my channel page right now, but I will put a link to it in the sidebar as well. And hopefully you will go and look at that video and spread it around and email it to your friends and use it as motivation. It's a freaking awesome video and uh, made me cry a lot. So well done. Second, Adam and I did a Christmas special. It's his Christmas special, which I guess starred in like the entire time. Um, that's on his channel. Again, link in the sidebar and it's hilarious and full of Christmas cheer and alcohol. So go see that. A lot of people have been asking me, are you at goal yet? You said in your first video you wanted to lose about 40 pounds, now you've lost 45. Aren't you at goal? No. Um, when I started YouTube, I had already lost 18.3 pounds. So I had another about 40 to lose on top of that. So I'm trying to lose about 60 pounds, 58 to 60 pounds. So I've lost 45 total. Starting with YouTube, I need to lose 40. I have lost about 25 since I started YouTube. So I still have another 15 to 20 to lose, like we're talking about. Yay! I have 100 million things to do, so I will leave you now. Yay, maintain, blah. At least I didn't gain. And yay, groceries.